Hey, welcome back, guys. It's Slider Havoc here. We are back on Sky Factory. And as you can see, I'm standing on this weird platform in the middle of nowhere. Let me tell you that this is where I had started my uh, mob farm. My uh, docile mob farm, or what do you want to call it? Non, uh, non violent ones. Yeah, sorry. Still sick. Still can't speak English. But, anyways, I learned a valuable lesson, and I want to tell you guys about it. If you look up under my day where it says day 16, it says biome beach. I learned a valuable lesson. Animals do not spawn in the beach, the ocean, or the deep ocean. So look carefully as you're making your mob farm because you could run into that and, you know, that could possibly not be good for you. So I actually had to look around and it turns out that all the way out that way is uh, also uh, beach and deep ocean. Out that way is all deep ocean. And it just so happened that back behind my... Uh, my hostile mob farm, I could actually build back there. But even at that, some of it was still, um, I think some of it was river. But uh, there's part of it over here that is plains, and so they do seem to spawn a little bit. So I've got two here, and I was very, very curious about this guy. It's called a fluid cow, and it says his current fluid name is Molten Glass. And it's already cooled down, but there was a little ticker that ticked down or whatever. Um, so I'm thinking if I milk this guy, I might actually get a bucket of Molten Glass. Which would be kind of cool. Um, I don't know if there's other guys, and I don't know if I get another one of them. If I can breed them and get different types, we will see. But I do have a sheep right now, so I have wool now. And then I've got uh, this fluid cow. I had never even heard of it. I had never even heard of the mod that it was from, but, you know, whatever. Oh, I heard that sizzle. Okay, I don't know what the puppy's barking at, but that's really annoying. So... Anyways, we've got some resources. Um, I moved some stuff around. I've got just like wood chest over here. But we've got some resources now, and we can make some stuff. I literally was waiting until I just got all of these so I can make my bucket. So I've got eight uh, broken iron ores, and then I've got one iron ingot. And if I craft these in a two-by-two, two, I get iron ore gravel, and then I can just smelt that like normal, and I should get some iron ingots. Three iron ingots will give me a bucket, and it finally rained. It did finally rain, actually, like, almost right after I ended the last episode, it started raining, so I got some rain. And if you notice, I actually had to cover these because I couldn't take dirt out of them without it filling with rain. So, <coughs> you live and you learn. All right, so we have three iron ingots. We have a bucket. Now I can make my infinite spring. So I'm not sure where I want to put this for the time being. Thinking maybe over here in the corner. Let me get a couple slabs. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna have an above water infinite spring, I think. Or I mean above ground. So it's gonna you know defy the laws of physics, I guess. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Hey. You just wiped out that tree. That is not cool. It's not what I wanted you to do. Um, so I guess I'm going to need five more. <laughs> so, at least I've got an infinite spring now. I've got infinite water. So it's cool. We've got water now. And uh, now we'll start being able to make some other stuff. Now I should be able to get lava. Because I can make clay. Which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I meant to go over here. Grab that water. Cool. And we will put you right there. There we go. We've got an infinite spring. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So we are rocking and rolling with that now. So now I can do my cobble generator if I can get some lava. So what I need to do is now that I've actually done that, I need to take you and put you in here. Actually, I'm going to need uh, both of you to build because I'm going to need to make up some clay. And I said if you mix, put dust in with the water, you get clay. So this should be easy peasy. Um, I don't have any saplings. Oh, here, let's go get some more saplings. I need to be constantly making some dirt. I believe I'll be able to automate some of this stuff pretty soon, which I'm kind of excited about because I'm all about some automation, let me tell you. Okay, there you go. I feel like it should auto-fill right off the bat. It doesn't. Sometimes it's a little glitchy. 
Sometimes it goes right in, and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know which one it's going to be half the time. There we go. Let me get some more dirt going, because I'm going to need some more stone, because I did go through a lot of my dirt to get stone, so I could, uh, well, stone to get gravel, so gravel so I can get that iron ore, or that broken iron ore, or whatever. But once we automate that whole system, it'll be really nice, because... I will have like unlimited uh, resources <laughs> once I'm able to automate this whole system with uh, I'm sure I can do it with Mine Factory Reloaded in uh, some way shape or form but I'm going to need a lot more to automate but for the time being it's cool because now we'll be able to do a uh, cobblestone generator and I'll be able to get tons of cobblestone and we will get a lot of stuff really really quickly so let me dump some of this stuff in here get some the dirt there dump the wood while I'm waiting on the other dirts, let's do these. So I can get some stone. Because <coughs> now we're going to have to... Well, actually, I need to get dust. That's what I need to get. Okay, you're almost there. Alright, how much stone do I have? Seven there. Three there. Two there. Okay, that's three. That is enough to make three dust. So that'll work. Um, throw this acorn away. I don't know what the acorns are yet for. I haven't looked into them yet. So gravel, then sand, then dust. And then hopefully if this works right, I just put it in there. I get clay. Sweet. Let me go ahead and do one more of these because I don't know exactly how much clay I need for the uh, crucible. But I think two should be more than enough, but we'll just play it safe. And we'll break these down. Oh, i got to break them down by hand. Let me check on that crucible real quick. Let's see, are you? Crucible, here we go. Uh, unfire crucible. So it's this porcelain clay, which is clay and bone meal. I got plenty of that. So let me go ahead and put these down real quick. Get this clay. And it was uh, 2 2, so yes, I should have enough. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It was uh, 7 times 2 is 14. Or maybe it was just 7. Maybe it was just 7. Like that. I'll give me 7 of those. And then just make the crucible like that. And then we'll throw it in the furnace. And that should give us a crucible. And then we should be able to make some lava. And we're getting really, really close. So what is this? Silverfish imprinted crystals. Interesting. Forbid magic. Yeah, there's so many mods I don't know anything about. All right, cool. So we got the crucible. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any cobblestone to throw in it quite yet. Because I know I'm going to need... I don't know how much cobblestone goes in it. I think it might be like 10. Uh, 10 pieces of cobblestone gives you one bucket of lava. So I'm going to have to keep rocking those for a while. Let's see. Um, craft you up real quick. One cobblestone. Okay, cool. So we're going to go ahead and just throw... Well, we'll just put it right here. So let me grab a slab real quick. We're going to put a slab right here. Then we're going to put a torch. And then we're going to put the crucible. And then we're going to throw our cobblestone in there. And let's see. Um, actually, it looks like I'm only going to need four. Because if it's going one by one, so it's 250. Yeah, so I'm going to need four cobblestones. So I think we should be able to do this pretty quickly. I'm excited to finally, finally get some lava, get a cobblestone generator, and we'll start making a ton, a ton of metals and materials and get going. I think we're officially past the baby stage. I would consider this officially past the baby stage. If once we start making our uh, uh, cobblestone generator, or once we start making cobblestone, I would say we're past the baby stages. And then once I start automating it, which will be, uh, I think we should be able to do that fairly easy, uh, fairly quickly, based upon how much stuff we can actually get, um, like how many materials we get from the cobblestone, uh, turn it into gravel or whatever. So we should be good. 
Should, should, should be good. And you, okay. Whew. I really, really hate being sick, guys. Just let you know. Not that anybody enjoys being sick, but I just, I feel like straight D-O-D-O -D -O right now. Do, do. I wonder if any more animals will spawn. Let's go kill some mobs while that dirt is composting. Oh, oh, there's another cow. What is this guy? What is this guy? This guy is Molten Electrum. I wonder. He's already ticked down. So let's see if it gives me a bulk. It gives me a bucket of Molten Electrum. That is awesome. I don't know where to store this. <laughs> And I don't think I go, I don't know if it'll burn the wood or not, but I don't want to chance that. Hey, you put sizzling over there. You know what? We were going to kill these mobs while we were waiting anyway, so. That's awesome. So I can make molten glass and molten electrum now. I wonder how long it takes for those things to refuel, because that's a lot of materials. Really, really quick and easy. I could definitely set up a milking farm with a uh, autonomous activator and stuff. So that could work quite well. Wow, a lot of creepers. I don't like creepers. Creepers are bad. Bad, bad thing. I've had one explosion, and I did have a death in the uh, off-camera time while I was trying to get the dirt. Uh, I tried to salvage as much dirt as possible from that other farm. I did happen to... I could have sworn I was standing on the block next to it, but apparently I was standing on the block that I was breaking, and I fell to my death. And I lost all my stuff. Which I didn't have much on me. I had like uh, wood and stuff on me or whatever. But I did lose my sword and my axe at times. So I had to make new ones of those. But it's cool because I ended up getting luck on my axe. And I could not think of a time where luck on my axe would be useful. So my new axe is a little more useful in my opinion. But you know that's just my opinion. Maybe you could tell me why luck on an axe would be good. I don't know. Let's see. Let's make some more food over here. <coughs> Alright, tons of food. Tons of apples. Tons of monster jerky. Um, dirt should be done. We'll get some more stone. Get some more lava. Oh, we're getting so close. Getting so close. Oh, not quite three. Darn it. Alright, I need one more stone and we will be Gucci Gucci. Alright, so yeah, so four total cobblestone and we'll be good there. Oh, those mobs fill in there really, really fast. Really fast. Let's see if we get anything from our loot bag here. Uh, mega rubber tree, not doing that. Pumpkin seeds, lapis lazuli. I really don't know why I would want a music. Yeah, now I have a mega rubber sapling and I also have a... Um, or somewhere, yeah. Sacred rubber tablet. I think this thing's like absolutely nuts, insane, huge. Like, we could make an entire house out of that thing. Um, like, I think it would be the base of this tree would be like this entire platform, and the tree branches out, and like, I don't know, crazy, like, oh, like a hundred blocks out. Like, if I remember the right, and if it's the one I think it is, it's so huge, it's ridiculous. So, so huge. Uh, do I have any more sticks in here? Just make some more. Nope. But I can just do this. Oh, I got 15. Throw that in there. Alright, so wood, sticks, 16 crooks. I have to go through so many of these. Like every time I make that many, it's kind of like, wow, that's just excessive. But then as fast as I go through them, I'm like, nope, really not that excessive. It's actually, I go through them so quickly that they're not even in my inventory that long. Especially when I was going around bone mealing all these things up. These trees were sprouting quick when I started bone mealing. And uh, that farm has definitely helped out with that aspect because I can go get all the bones from the skeletons, make a ton of bone meal, and then just go crazy over here on the farm. So, But I do have a bucket of molten electrum, and that's awesome. Alright, so... Empty, empty... There's you. There's filled. <laughs> Alright. And this should be just about done. That was pretty good timing. 
<clears throat> and then those will be done soon. Let's see where we're at in the book. Okay. So, um, make clay by putting dust on the water. Got it. Uh, craft and cook a crucible. Did it. Heat a crucible with a torch and insert stone and cobble. Make lava. We're in the process of it. And then build a cobblestone generator. So that makes sense. Uh, we have the spawning animals. Build a second layer. So that'll be coming soon. We've got water now, so we can safely build a second layer. Um, I don't know really what I would want to do. But I'm trying to think a safe way to get... Oh, you know what? We've got a lot of string, and I can get wool now. I have seven wool. I'm trying to think of what the recipe for an elevator is. The elevator's recipe is eight wool gives you one. Okay, I've got one ender pearl, I think. Yeah, I only have one ender pearl, so I can't make two of those yet. So we have to make stairs down. Let me... <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Um, let me see. Let me see. How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Let me get some more wood. There we go. Get a stack. And then what I can do is I can take my bucket here and... Huh, I'm curious. I don't know if that'll work now. I was wondering if that would work or not. No, this is gonna start. This might start burning stuff. I shouldn't probably be doing this. I know it burned up those saplings. Come on, come on. I should probably put this in a contained area. That was probably a really bad idea. Let's uh, let's contain this a little bit better, and not be so silly. So if I put you there, let's be a little smarter about this. It doesn't seem to do anything to that. So, I don't know what to do with the Multum Electrum yet. No, it's not doing anything. Um, desapling my area here. Alright. But it doesn't seem to be burning the wood, which is good. So I might be able to just leave that in there. And if not, I can always, you know, make a cobblestone uh, hole real quick. Anyways, uh, got the dirt, got the dirt. I should have enough stone to make one more uh, cobblestone, and then I will have a bucket of lava, and then I can go make a cobblestone generator. So we'll see how that goes really quickly. My dog is so grumpy. He really, really doesn't like the puppy. Alright, so there we go. So now I have a bucket of lava, and I need something that won't burn. The lava's gonna burn. I believe. Oh, you know what? I believe crafting tables are safe. I believe I can make a couple crafting tables. Um, let's see. Do 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 do. do. We're gonna go make a crafting table platform is what we're gonna do actually I can put it over <laughs> uh, we'll go to 32 just to be safe I can go put them over here for right now let's see how this is gonna work all right, so there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. Okay. So, um, how am I gonna do this? Well, oh, I should probably go get the water first. I'm trying to think how I'm gonna do this, so I don't burn. Oh. So I don't burn everything up. All right. OK. 
Okay, so that'll be that. Like that. Okay, so all the lava will be trapped there, and I have to put one in these corners, or it'll just bother me having the corners out like that. Alright. And... For the time being, I'm going to put a stopper right here for it and put the water there. Oops. Like that. There we go. And then I should go be able to go get this bucket of lava. We should have our cobblestone generator. Ah, so excited. Yes, I got a bucket of lava. I have a bucket of lava. We have a cobblestone generator. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I can put you there. And then just break you. There we go. And take you like that. And then I'm going to put you right here. Actually, I'm going to put it over just... I don't know why, but I feel the necessity to do this. With all this floating stuff here. There we go. And then, yeah, this will be good. Now I just oh you know what I have a thomium pick that I got out of a loot bag, so I should be able to use that for right now until I make a pick with tinkers. But I think this thing's gonna like last forever, and I think it's really strong. In fact, I believe. I mean, I would just think so. Thomcraft, thomium pick. Let's see. Oh, it's gotta have the hole that goes down. No. I know how many of you guys were thinking that as I was doing this. How many of you guys were thinking it and just didn't tell me? Huh? How many of you guys were thinking it and just didn't tell me? I need to block, knock this block right here out. That's what I need to do. Oh, I forgot. Forgot, forgot, forgot. That's just a silly mistake right there. I'm um, kind of thumbing and pick mine obsidian. So we are back and I did fix the little glitch I was having. And as you can see, I've got over a stack of cobblestone now. And I've been doing some of my stuff in the meantime because I was having an issue with uh, my recording. And so I had to fix that real quick. Um, but in the meantime, I did like a couple things. And I want to finish this episode up in the next couple minutes. So we've got the cobblestone generator. And I'm going to do a lot of uh, cobblestone mining over the next uh, like hour or two before I go to sleep tonight. But we're not going to record that because that would be really redundant. But I thought I wanted to check out a crazy idea, right? So I went and grew some wheat because... Oh, look at that. It replanted itself. Um, I wanted to see if I can breed these cows and if it's going to give me another kind of cow. Like, I've got the molten electrum, and I've got the molten glass. So I'm like, huh, if I breed these two... Look at that, so there's you, and there's you. So now we're going to get a little baby cow, maybe? Or does it only work with the same types? Alright, well, that answered that question. So it only works with the same types, I'm assuming. Because they don't seem to be loving on each other. You don't, you don't love him? He doesn't love you. You sure you don't love them? Come on. Let me push you guys closer together. Come on. Come on. Make, make me a baby. Staring at each other. Nope. Okay. So apparently it's got to be the same kind. That's totally fine. I still have molten electrum and molten glass right now. So that's cool. Um, yeah. So I thought for the last one, while I was uh, doing other stuff, I ended up getting another bag. And now I have two ender pearls. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking... That I can go down and do the, uh, oh, what do you call it? Um, the second level. And my second level will be actually where I put my cobblestone generator um, when I want to automate it and stuff like that. But I'm going to do that right now. So what I'm going to actually do is infest the heck out of these trees real quick. Because I've got a whole bunch right now. And I've got enough saplings that it's not a concern to let all these infest real quick and then I can get a whole bunch of string I should I didn't even think about this until just now I should have probably done this while I was waiting for my uh, 
camera stuff to come up and then that way these would have been infested on their own but i was really thinking i was like i wanted to go check out to see what happened when i uh bred the two cats i was like hey if they could be like another random one that would be really cool but apparently that's not the case and that's okay by me that is totally okay by me i'm still cool with just getting random freaking cowsies that give me stuff other than milk that that's pretty freaking sweet so with that being said um well let's see if we can get some more metals while we're waiting while we're waiting for these to infest i got a whole bunch of cobble now i'm gonna need a platform that's why i was thinking about doing the platform for this because then i can just go ahead and put all this down there so let's see let's just do them right here so we'll go ahead and just get a whole bunch of gravel and I would love to start getting some of the uh, applied energistic stuff so I can start making a uh, digital um, storage area because I, you know what, I'm realizing that it's still modded Minecraft and there's never enough storage in modded Minecraft and everybody who's ever played modded Minecraft knows it's just you can never have enough storage your chest just fill up like crazy and you have to have some kind of special storage or just it's just not going to work because there's just so much stuff you end up storing and yeah 52 gravel that's pretty good <coughs> so let's go see how much stuff we get let me go ahead and dump what i can uh bone meal silkworms rubber no sticks no wood no cobble no Man, I can't put anything away. Oh, that I can put away. I can put a couple of those away. And I can put that away. Now I can put that away. That away. Do that. I have a full stack of gunpowder. I've killed a lot of creepers. That is a lot of creepers to have a full stack and then some. That is crazy that I've had that many creepers over there. But it's cool. It's totally cool. All right. So, we're in these guys. And let's see what we get while we're waiting on the infested trees. Ooh, look at that. They're going nicely. They're going really nicely. Jump up here. There we go. So, um, yeah, in the next episode, we'll go ahead and get more. Um, I want to concentrate on the achievements specifically. So I'm probably going to get myself set up for whatever the next achievements are going to be. But I know I definitely want to try to do that platform. I've got a couple more minutes before this episode hits about half an hour long. And I'm trying to avoid ever letting the episode go over half an hour. I kind of set myself a new guide. I want to keep my episodes about 20 minutes. Um, I know that, you know, sometimes a longer episode is, I don't know, necessary and sometimes just fun, but uh, I want to keep them a little bit shorter just because I mean, that's a long time to watch, I think. And uh, that way I can put more out and then that way you don't feel like you're missing or you don't have enough time to watch. You can always just, you know, watch a shorter episode, stuff like that. I don't know. But I'm going to try to keep my episodes between 20 to 30 minutes for right, for the time being. And uh, if I feel like, you know, going longer could be advantageous, then maybe I will. But, uh, yeah, that's the goal for right now. And I know before my video glitched, I was at 22 minutes. So I'm probably sitting at about 27, 28 minutes right now, I'm assuming. But I want to get that platform done, and I, I'm so fearful I'm going to die. Um, so I'm going to go take some wood. And eventually I'm going to change it all to stone slab, so then that way I don't have to worry about the lava burning anything and whatnot. But I did want to get as much metal as possible right now. Because as you can see, I've already got like seven. I believe that's iron right there. I've got seven iron, which would be two more iron ingots. And uh, I wish the yield on gravel was a little bit better. Seems like I only get like one per. And then a lot of times I get nothing. So it's okay though. Uh, automating, automating, automating. This will all get automated. But I don't have the materials to automate yet. That's why I'm doing this by hand because I'm going to need a lot of iron and other materials. And once I get them, oh, it's going to be so outstanding. Then I'll just like, go to chests and be like, whatever, I need iron. There's a chest full of iron over here. Yay! All right, so... Do, 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 do. And I'm thinking of farm in the next episode. Uh, get some food going. Get all the seeds planted that I have. Um, that should be cool. 
I gotta remember I'm gonna have to put torches down for that I did originally and it was funny I totally forgot about it when I did the uh, grassy area where the animals are spawning right now I totally forgot to light it up there and when I went over there was a sheep when I originally hopped back on there was a sheep over there and then there was like 30 mobs in there because mobs really want to spawn and they sure in the heck were spawning all right are you Ooh, it's like a full white tree all right well let's crook this up then I can make my elevators uh, I got more yeah come over here all right I should yeah oh well more than a stack so yeah <coughs> yeah I got more than enough wool okay cool there's 16 wool just like that and elevators I now have cool and they're gonna be white That'll let me get up and down, and then I'm going to need wood. Um, I'm going to do this with some solid wood until I get down, and then we'll do some planks down there. And yes, okay. Uh, my bucket's right there. You know what? I am dumping all this stuff because I die during this process, which is very likely knowing my lack of discipline and uh, paying attention to stuff. Um, okay, so we're going to throw all these materials in here. Was that iron I had? No, that's aluminum ore. Darn it. And that's copper. Oh, that was iron. Cool. I don't have any gold yet. Okay. All right. So we're just dumping everything. Ooh, I got a diamond. I don't even remember getting that diamond. Oh, wait. I need you. Need you. I'm going to leave you here. I don't care about you. Oh, my bucket. Yeah, I'm going to leave the bucket, too, because I don't want to have to. Well, I have enough iron now, but. um, Okay, so we're going to take you. And where am I going to do this? Where am I going to put the elevator? I'll put the elevator right over here because it just kind of makes sense. It's like right in this area. And we'll chop this out. Okay, this is going to be so scary. This is going to be so scary. I am so undisciplined when it comes to this stuff. Alright, so I'm leaving everything. Everything but building materials. That's all I'm taking. Just building materials. Because I have to build down with this. Alright. Now I should be able to get up on that pot. Oh, I'm drowning. There we go. Okay, cool. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Ooh, this is so scary. I'm like below. Oh, goodness. I feel so scared down here right now. So scared. Alright, so... I'm going to go ahead and put you right there. Sweet. And you right there. Okay, cool. We've got our below platform now. Let's go ahead and build this out just a little bit. Oh, man. This just feels so scary right here. All right. There we go. All right. It's so dark right here. I guess we're under the other platform. Ugh. All right, cool. And I might match the size of the platform, but all right, so we've got that done. All right, so the platform is done, and I'll probably end up moving that around eventually. But let's check the book and see what else we got. Uh, collect rainwater and oak bear. We got that. Uh, heat a crucible with a torch. Did that. Make some lava. We got a cobblestone generator. We got that. Second layer below the level you started from. Got that. I think we can go ahead and save that for the next episode. Uh, take your smeltery. Ooh, that would be good. Oh, maybe that's where I can put the molten electrum in a uh, Tinker's Construct uh, smeltery uh, basin and then it'll turn into an electrum block upgrade accessor Tinker tool with metal parts we could do that yeah so that's a lot of good stuff for the next episode but I think we're done here at least for the time being hey what are you doing you're still infesting over here that's not cool alright well until next time guys I am Slider Havoc and I'm out of here peace